Now that you've pre-processed all of your resting state data, the next thing we need to do is select a region or voxel that we can then use to correlate with every other part of the brain. In this case, I'm going to focus on using a region of interest located in the ventral medial prefrontal cortex. Now, if everything goes roughly according to what is shown in other studies, we should see a strong correlation between that region and part of the brain called the posterior cingulate cortex or retrosplenial cingulate cortex. So I'm just selecting a subject at random right here, 0050783. And within this, everything has been pre-processed already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this person's anatomical image, this mprage underscore ns, that's when skull script and st skull stripped and also warped to a standardized space. So I'm going to hit Telerac view to go there. Now, there aren't real strict definitions about where the VMPFC is, but for these purposes, I want to say it's roughly around in this area right here. Okay, so when I'm doing this, I'm going to take note that these coordinates right here, these XYZ coordinates, are 0, negative 50, and negative 4. So recall that not always does the orientation in AFNI, even after it's warped, match what, say, the MNI coordinates are. The orientation also needs to be taken into account. <clears throat> so, now that we have that, I'm going to go back here, and first of all, I'm going to actually take those coordinates and use the echo command to put them into a text file. So 0, negative 50, and negative 4. I'm going to redirect that to something called tmp.txt. Now, that will be used with the command 3D undump to create a region of interest on that area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a region of interest that is a 5 millimeter sphere. So, what we're going to be doing is averaging across all the voxels in this 5 millimeter sphere and then using that to correlate with other time courses and other parts of the brain. So, 3D undump prefix, we'll call this VMPFC. And a master is going to be the data set that we want to use. So in this case, remember, we're focusing on the error time series that was generated from 3D Deconvolve. That basically is the time, time series that's been uh, removed of all motion effects, or we've tried to account for those as best as possible. Next, uh, SRAD, that's the radius of the sphere. It's going to be 5. And also XYZ, and that's going to be the text file, which has the XYZ coordinates, which is tmp.txt. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so it's going to write out this data set, VMPFC. I'm going to go back here, uh, define data mode, and just rescan this data set. So it's just going to reload that data set, don't have to reopen AFNI. If I load up VMPFC, click on overlay, it should be right about there. Okay, so we have our VMPFC ROI. In the next tutorial, we're going to actually extract information from that ROI to do our correlation analysis.